Hello and welcome to Adobe Photoshop CS2 and my tutorial on how to create a realistic lightning effect inside of Photoshop. Now I've already got an image open on screen. It's a photograph that I took in Utah in the United States last year on holiday and I want to make this picture more dramatic than it already is. I want to add a lightning bolt right in the middle of those storms down in the valley. Now the first thing we're going to do is open a new document. So if you go up to File, New, and this is where your project will differ from mine because the picture that you want to add the lightning to may be a different scale than mine. Um, I'm going to open up a new document with a width and height of 500 pixels and a resolution of 72 pixels per inch um, with a transparent background. Um, so if we click OK that will open the document in a new window. Now the first thing we need to do with this new document is create a gradient of black and white across the image. So we're going to go over here to our foreground background colors and if they're not black and white then click the icon just on the left hand side of that and it will turn them to black and white. The next thing we want to do is make sure that the gradient tool is selected so if you select that it's shared with the paint bucket tool but make sure the gradient tool is selected and then um, up here make sure that the linear gradient is selected so it's just a smooth black to white transition and then I want you to go down to your document and about a quarter of the way across I want you to select or hold down the left mouse button drag across the screen till about three quarters of the way across if you hold down the shift key it helps you drag in a straight line and then release and you get this black to white gradient effect if you go up to the filter menu select render and then difference clouds that will give us a kind of lightning shape in the middle of the image where the grayscale was um, at the moment it's the wrong shade because we want the white in the middle and we want the black on the outskirts so if we go up to image adjustments and hit invert that will reverse the effect and give us what we want in that the, the white is now inside the lightning shape and the black is um, taken out to the edges of your document. The next thing we need to do is just sharpen up that lightning because at the moment it doesn't really give us that much of a lightning effect. So if we go up to image again, click adjustments and go across to levels Now what I want you to do inside the Levels dialog box is make sure that the RGB composite channel is selected and I want you to grab this black slider down the bottom here and I want you to push that all the way across well not all the way across, we want to go about three quarters of the way across release and then I want you to grab the, the grey gamma value in the middle and I want you to drag that across as well and just watch the screen, watch your lightning and wait until you really do get a lightning effect. You don't want it too much because then you lose a lot of detail but if you have it just off the white balance slider then you're going to have a little bit of fuzz around the lightning strike and it's going to look more realistic. Once you've got the results you desire click the OK button to accept the changes in the levels dialog box and what we've got now is a pretty decent lightning strike Okay, what we now need to do is copy and paste it into our original image. So I want you to hit Control A to select the whole image, Control C to copy the image to the clipboard, and then we can minimize it so we get it out of the way of what we're trying to look at. Hit Control V to paste, and I get this um, color profile mismatch warning up. If you get that, just click OK, that's fine, that's no problem. And you can see that our lightning effect has been pasted very nicely onto our main image. The next thing we need to do is to get rid of that black background inside of layer 1, um, the lightning layer, um, to make it look like a realistic lightning effect. So if we make sure that layer 1 is selected, or whatever you've called your lightning layer, and then go up to the blend modes option box and select screen and that takes away all the dark colors inside that layer and merges them with the background layer and it gives you um, the effect of taking away all of the blacks in that image which is exactly what we want 
So now we can select the Move tool and move the lightning roughly into place as to where we want it. Um, that looks pretty good there. Now I suggest to finish it off, you either scale the lightning down to roughly the right size. Um, you can do that if you want. What I'm going to do here though is I'm going to grab the erasure tool and I'm going to bring up my brush size. I'm going to zoom in a bit here now and I'm going to make sure that I have the softest brush I can possibly find selected and I'm then going just to brush away some of the lightning at the top so it starts roughly where I want it to start and I'm going to brush away some at the, be uh, the end so that it ends where I want it to and it also gives the lightning bolt a nice smooth effect that looks much more realistic and there we have it now if you wanted to tweak it all you need to do is to go back and create a different sized gradient or effect the levels commands in uh, slightly different ways and manners so that you achieve different and sometimes better results I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks very much for watching.